now we're in a time where the kings of Esau, the Bible says, was the end of the world ages ago, coming to judgment by the most high. See what it says here? He given wisdom unto the wise, and knowledge to them that no understand. See that? He removed the kings and set up up kings. So now it's time for these so-called white people to be judged. It's written right here in the Bible. See what it says here? Alright? Let's go to Isaiah chapter 26 verse 10. Favor is going to be shown to them because of the things they did in the earth. And their day is coming when they're going to be judged. See what it says here? Isaiah chapter 26. Okay. Verse 10. Let favor be shown to the wicked. As it says in Job 9 24. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He covered the judges on the faces thereof, which were originally the Israelites. Now they got their corrupt judges and laws in the earth. And it's written, people. Yet he will not learn righteousness. What makes a man righteous? The faith of Christ. Biblical living, keeping the commandments, being obedient and submitting to the Most High. You don't see them doing this in this uh, setup. They got the Roman church here and the blossom and the hoarders throughout the earth with their corrupt governments and democratic and republican parties. See what it says here? In the land of uprightness will he deal unjustly. So you niggas what's in the Puerto Rico looking for justice? You can only get it from your house. Ba'ashimahasha. Not for men. And will not Behold the majesty of the Lord Yahweh and his son Christ. They are the Antichrist people. They're against this Bible, they're against you, they're against the whole earth with their sinful ways. And that's why the Lord is bringing these plagues on them. See that? Let's go to Isaiah 48 22. Ain't gonna be no peace for them. Alright? It is written. Isaiah chapter 48, verse 22. There is no peace, saith the Lord, unto the wicked. Y'all hear that? There is no peace, saith the Lord, unto the wicked. So hold their hands and get in their political parties. The Lord said, Come out of all my people, so that you will not be saved from our plagues. Alright? And that you should not be destroyed. See, because we're in that time of the destruction and the plagues of Babylon the Great. Judgment of the Most High is coming. And these nations are going to be punished for breaking these laws of the Most High that's recorded in this Bible. Let us go to another scripture in Jeremiah chapter 49, verse 12. See, and all these clergy and uh, these Gentiles, they're running around here lying. So called white man is lying, the Arabs are lying, the Africans are lying. We go by the judgment of our Creator, the Most High. And He tells you in the Bible that all these nations are going to be judged for their sins that they committed on this planet. Let's go to Jeremiah chapter 49, verse 12. It is written, But thus saith the Lord, thus saith who? The Lord. Because, behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup. Have surely drunk it. So what did Paul tell y'all in the Bible? Let's prove this real quick. Go back to what Paul said. Romans chapter 11. He said this. In verse 21. But if the Most High spare not the natural branches, take heed lest he also spare not thee. Behold therefore the goodness and severity of the Most High. Or them which fell severity, because we fell because we didn't keep the law, but they were grafted in under faith during the time of the apostles of Christ. Right? He said, severity, but toward thee, goodness, if thou continue in his goodness. Otherwise, thou shalt also be cut off. So, where is the so-called white man going? See, your churches are lying to you, and your clergy and your governments deceit, fraud, and cussing. This Bible is the key. 
to the Most High's uh, judgment. And he says in this Bible, you shouldn't have drunk of it. What did you drink of? Y'all said that y'all were the Jews. Y'all said that y'all were Christians. And y'all hypocrites and liars. Y'all not living by this Bible. You didn't set up your government and your institutions under this Bible. So now the Most High is judging America and the world for what? Their sins. And he's bringing these plagues down upon the earth. See what it says here? The cup is uh, surely drunken. And thou, and thou, is he that shall altogether go unpunished? So do y'all think y'all going to go unpunished? You got all these books out here teaching blasphemies. We go by the Bible. That's the most high book. The Lord says, I come in the volume of the book that's written to me. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and, and read. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of your times. See? And we don't go by no other clergy book or any other book. We go by the Holy Bible, Old and New Testament. To join them together in a perfect union of righteousness and truth through Christ. See what it says? To go unpunished? Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. So the drinking, meaning that the Most High is going to have these nations drink this cup. And they're going to be judged by the most high. And that's why you got the builders falling, the economic is falling, the uh, politicians are fighting each other, and you got chaos and corruption all throughout America and the world now. Because you're Babylon the Great that the Bible speaks of, and the Lord says you're going to fall, you're going to fall. You keep saying you're going to make yourself great again, but the, the most high says, it's time for you to come down. Your time is up. Mm -hmm. He gave you a dispensation of time to rule this planet. And now the Most High is going to take it back and give it back to Israel. And Israel is going to serve the Most High in Christ in the kingdom. And we're going to do this thing right. So let's go to Isaiah chapter 13, verse 15. You got people out there, they got that mark of the beast. And they running around here with the so-called white man in these Illuminati societies and making pledges with this man. We're going by his false Christianity. What's going to happen to them? First, going to happen to Israel. Because the Lord said, any of you that receive that mark of the beast and the images of the beast, which is the Caesar board the pictures, the denominational teachings of these so-called churches and those crosses, which are the times. So all of that is not of the truth. So all the nations that's going to be joined to this man and this confusion, there's a judgment coming to you for that. And here you go right here. Isaiah chapter 13. We're going to start at uh, verse 15. It says, Everyone that is found shall be thrust through, and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. So there's going to be a lot of deaths of the nations and Israel that's out here for joining up with this man, making pledges with them, and going against the plans of the Most High. you got to join up with the Most High's program, people, the 12 tribes of Israel. The Lord said you got to come through the straight gate, you got to be born again, you got to be baptized, and you have to keep these commandments in the faith of Christ. See, and you have to suffer. And many of our people have sold their souls for pieces of gold. And a lot of our people got killed up in them buildings. And you're going to get killed in this man's armies, Navy, Air Force, Marines. And you're going to get killed out here standing up for the devil. We want to be on the Lord's side, which is mercy, and he deals with truth toward the house of Israel now. The rest of you that's out there, that's joined up to this man, the scripture says you're going to fall by the sword. And many of our people died in them buildings on 9-11. See? And this is the end judgment of the Most High. Let's go to the um, last judgment of Christ and the Most High. And let's find out what he said in this chapter of the Bible. This is an old prophecy from the Old Testament. And we use the New Testament too. <clears throat> We're going to the book of Obadiah. Alright? Chapter 1. In verse 15, for the day of the Lord is near, 
See, the day of the Lord is near. That's what we're proclaiming. The day of judgment, the day of salvation for the 12 tribes and the nations that are saved are going to be put in the most highest order. There ain't going to be no political change on this planet. The plagues and the prophecy are going to take place in this time. And the Most High is going to reveal the wicked to you according to this Bible. Mm -hmm. And Israel needs to be saved because they're in hell. And this predicament of, of the so-called white man's kingdom is killing our people every day. So, the day of the Lord is near upon all the nations or heathens. See, and that's who the Lord is coming back to destroy and put into uh, captivity. He's going to have mercy on Jacob and yet choose Israel. See? But these are the end time prophecies showing you the towers falling, the economics destruction, the immorality of Babylon, the Greek, America. It was all foretold in this Bible, and it's coming. See? As thou has done, it shall be done unto thee. So reap what you sow is coming. In Revelation chapter 18, the Lord says, you're going to get double slavery, double uh, uh, payback. The Lord is going to restore the house of Israel, and all the nations are going to pay us back double for what they did to, to us. And that's what we're waiting for. See? It's called restitution. And the only one that gives you this restitution is the Most High and Christ, according to this Bible. And that's what we want. See? Thy reward shall be returned upon thine own head. See? Galatians 6 and 7. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So in the day of judgment, when the plagues come first, and then Christ come and the angels, all these nations going to pay for what they did to the 12 tribes of Israel. That's why the Most High got all these plagues out here on the earth right now. And the day of the Lord is at hand. That's the subject today. Verse 16. But as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen or the nations drink continually. Yea, they shall drink and they shall not swallow down. They shall be as though they had not been. Because they say they the Israelites, they say that they Christians, and all these nations saying that they the Most High's people. But the Most High got one chosen people, and there's 12 tribes of us. And that's the nation of Israel. See? And all these other nations are going to be found out to be what? Liars and nobodies. Verse 17. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance. See? But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance. And there shall be holiness. See? That's when the Lord is going to put you back in order. He's going to change your language back to the Lashawan Kodach. You're going to be wearing garments. The women are going to be back in order. Seven women are going to take over one man. In the new kingdom. That's the minimum women we're going to have. We're going to have riches and glory and power beyond anything that you imagine. Mm -hmm. In this new kingdom that's coming. And it's promised to us in this Bible. The Lord says, eyes and ears have not heard and seen for the, for the things that the Lord has for them who yeah, love. Who love. See? And there shall be holiness. Meaning, Kodash. You're going to be holy people again. Right now, you're in Kabul. Meaning, shame. And Most High going to clean you up and, and bring you back into your beautiful garments. And the, the, your body's going to be changed. You're going to get new bodies and new minds and new consciousness and everything. Because we can't go in the kingdom the way we are now. Uh, we are corrupted ourselves. And the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Meaning, we're going to take them captives whose captives we work. And we're going to rule over our oppressors. Revelation 13, 9 and 10 says, He that leadeth in the captivity shall go in the captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword, people. That's the justice of the Most High, and you only going to get it from him. Verse 18, And the house of Jacob shall be on a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame. Those are the Puerto Ricans. We're going to come back together on the Christ and the Most High, and the Most High going to make a new government. Not as an old one, and it's going to be a new covenant that is going to make with us face to face. And Christ is going to be the king. You're going to have the 12 disciples and the government, the 144,000. And you're going to have all Israel that's saved. 
And everybody going to come back in reincarnation and regeneration and die on this side. And then the nation is going to be up underneath us, serving us in the kingdom. There's going to be order, finally, on this earth and peace. See? And it says here, And the house of Esau was struggle, because that's where America is headed. Esau is a so-called white man. Edom. All right? He was a, 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 a brother to Jacob in the womb. We are Jacob, he's Esau. See? And he was in a womb with us, but he was a different nation. He came out red and happy. So Esau is going to be stubble. Why? Because it's foretold in the Bible that the destruction of the wicked is going to be thermonuclear warfare, World War III, the second coming of Christ. That's when the Lord is going to end this man's uh, kingdom on this planet Earth. It has to come down and has to be destroyed according to Bible prophecy. Two kings cannot hold the same crown. Wickedness and righteousness cannot rule together. Let me show you that real quick. Mm -hmm. See? It's against the heavens, man. But this has to come because the Lord said that this will be in the last days. See? Because he has to bring forth this new kingdom and put this new order in the world. And the old order is going to be put down. Second Ezra's, all right, chapter 7 and verse 33. And the Most High shall appear upon the seat of judgment, and misery shall pass away, and the long suffering shall have an end. Those of you that suffering in Mahasha, Jesus Christ, suffering for the kingdom's sake, suffering for the Lord's sake, he said that the uh, suffering is coming to an end when he returns. See? But judgment only shall remain. Truth shall stand, and faith shall wax strong. The work shall follow, and the reward shall be shown. And the good deed shall be of force, and the wicked deed shall bear no rule. Y'all hear that? Ain't gonna be no more faggots, lesbians, corruption, killing, murdering, stealing, lying, breaking the laws of the Most High, people getting away with it. That is coming to an end in this new kingdom. Because we have a new sheriff in town, in town called Mahasha, Jesus Christ. And the, and the Israelites going to be in a new order, in a new Jerusalem. And this world is going to be at peace forever. Let's go back to Obadiah. All right? And it says here, in verse 18, in the middle, Esau for a stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken it. So the day is coming where the wicked going to be judged. And there ain't going to be no more remaining of Esau. See? And they of the south shall possess the mount of Esau. And they of the plain, the Philistines. And they shall possess the fields of Ephraim and the fields of Samaria. And Benjamin shall possess Gilead. So when we get set back over there in that land, Benjamin is the so-called West Indian tribes. The ones that make it, the 144,000 in the remnant, they're going to go back to that land and possess it. And we're going to have all nations in captivity in this new kingdom. As they did it to us, it's going to be done to them. Thou saith the Lord. And the captivity of, the, uh, of, of this host of the children of Israel shall possess that of the Canaanites, which are the South Africans, even unto Zari Ha. And the captivity of Jerusalem, which is in Safara, shall possess the cities of the South. So we're going back over there by the hand of the Lord. All right? There ain't going to be no black leadership taking you over there. Christ, Mahasha, the great one, is going to gather us together and take us back over there. So if you follow these bootleg groups that's out here, you better leave them and join up with the ones in the troop that's waiting for the Lord. He said we shall be caught up in the, in the air. And there we shall meet the Lord in the air, man. Wait and get out of here on them chariots that the Lord says coming down in. Because Esau's kingdom is going to be stubble soon. See what it says here? 
and Savior shall come up on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau, meaning this new government, the new Jerusalem, and they're going to be judged by the laws of this book. And Christ going to be the King of kings and Lord of lords. Hallelujah. And the kingdom shall be the Lord's. Hallelujah. 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 Praise Yahweh. Mahashem. Mahasha. Barakata Yahweh. Mahashem. Mahasha. The water. Allah. Let the Lord's name be elevated in praise. So, brothers and sisters, you have heard the truth. It's time for you to seek the Lord and tarry not to return the Lord. Because in your comfortability in this system, the sudden destruction shall come. So I'm going to talk about Sojourner Israel, the pastor of the BBM ministry, coming to you live to bring you the word of truth and the hope that's in the great one, Mahatma Jesus Christ. Amen. Shalom, brothers and sisters, get scattered above.